guys and welcome back to Functional Fitness KO. I am certified personal trainer Karen O'Sullivan. Today I'm going to show you the wedding dress workout. This workout would be great to add in to what you're already doing, especially if you're wearing a strapless dress. Now I'm getting a little creative today, um, so I'm going to do all these exercises at home, although they all can be easily done at the gym, and I'll talk about both. So as you guys can see behind me, I've gotten a little creative here. I have two lawn chairs and a shower curtain rod. Um, I played with the idea of using a softball bat, baseball bat, um, a hanger, the hanging thing that you hang your clothes on, piece of wood, anything that you can grab onto that isn't gonna hurt your hands that is fairly thin but strong. So this exercise is called um, body rows or the reverse push-up. I'm gonna lay down and literally do a push up backwards. I'm just going to pull myself up to the bar so the bar is level with my chest and then I'm going to lower myself back down. This is going to work this area right in here, my pecs. Um, so when you see the fold over, this part should start to decrease because the muscle behind it is getting tighter. So I'm going to do three sets of 10 of this exercise. Same with all of our other exercises. So I'm grabbing just about where I would normally do a push-up. My feet are bent, my knees are bent, my feet are flat on the ground. To make this more difficult, I can extend my legs straight out and do a pull-up here, but I'm gonna stay just like this. All right, the next exercise we're gonna do is upright rows. I have dumbbells, very light dumbbells. So depending upon your fitness level, you can use um, heavy or light dumbbells, or you can grab a barbell. Might make it a little easier. You're gonna stand with a neutral spine, so good posture. Your knees should be slightly bent. The weight's gonna go right out in front of you, and you're gonna pretend like you're zipping up your jacket, basically. So your elbows shoot out. We're going to do three sets of 10. The next exercise we're going to do is tricep kickbacks. I'm using light dumbbells again, your choice of dumbbell weight just you want to make sure that the last repetition that you do is a struggle but you still have perfect form. So I'm going to bend over. You could use a bench to lean on but I'm just going to use my other hand's going to go on my thigh. Your elbow is going to stay tucked into your body and all you're going to do is kick back your hand. So your arm comes straight out fully extended and then bring it right back in. You want to do a nice slow movement and squeeze your tricep when you go to the top. Then I gotta do the other arm. Elbow in, bent over, kick back. You notice my upper part of my arm is not moving, just my forearm. Again, three sets of 10 for each arm. The last exercise we're gonna do today is the pec fly. You can either do this lying down on the floor or lying on a bench, it's your choice. So I'm just gonna lie down, grab my weights. You wanna make sure you grab lighter weights than normal. Lighter weights than you would do for like bicep curls. You usually do about five to seven and a half pounds. You're gonna hold the weights right above your head. Your elbows are gonna be bent this whole exercise. So my arm is gonna stay in this position the whole time. I'm just gonna move up my shoulder and I'm just gonna drop both weights down so my elbows just about touch the ground and I'm gonna squeeze up. To make this more difficult, um, to incorporate your core more, you can just lift up your legs. And I'm gonna do three sets of 10.
these, if you're trying to get in tip top shape for your wedding, make sure that these aren't the only four exercises that you do. These should just be incorporated with everything that you're already doing or will be doing. I hope that this video was helpful. If you have questions or want some more wedding exercises, please leave a comment and subscribe to Functional Fitness Chaos.